Hey, I've had a lot of people ask me, what are these things that hold my shingles on the roof? Well, these are supplied to me by my supplier, Roofer Supply. But what they really are, they're made by a company called Peaked Pallets, okay? <clears throat> and these are designed, I think they said you could put, uh, they'll hold like 26 bundles weight-wise. These go up on the uh, peak, they straddle the peak, they load their shingles on there, has a 2,000 pound max payload. If you're a supplier and you're thinking about using these, from what I understand talking to some other suppliers, if you're using a conveyor truck, it's just a luxury item. But if you use a boom truck with the forklifts on there, you could actually eliminate people from your delivery crew. And from what I understand, I think these are about 65 to $70 each. And so one of my suppliers was telling me that roughly one to one and a half deliveries with the saved labor because he could send a truck out with the boom truck. He could send one guy out on a job, set these on the peaks and just set the pallets right on them instead of having two or more guys to unload everything at one at a time and stack them. Now, if you're an installer, these are nice to have a, a good platform to work with, okay? They're not pounding nails through your roof, etc. But they do have a couple of drawbacks. First, you got to get them off the roof when you're done. They're not heavy, so you can carry them down. But unfortunately, they get broken very easily, like this one here, you can see. People get lazy and throw them. But the drawback that I find that I like the least is this stuff right here. You're basically gonna be leaving out five courses of shingles at every section on both sides. That you, and I know five courses isn't much, but I feel like if I'm working a course up, I can go do those last five shingles and just nail all the way to the top while I'm nailing everything up faster than coming back and doing just five shingles. And that's on both sides, unless you want to get an empty one set it over here and move bundles that is the major drawback of these as far as carrying them down the roof and getting them off the roof like i said they're not heavy the, the way that i found they're most comfortable to carry pick it up like this grab it about right here in this one or go down one balance it right on your shoulder once it's on your shoulder they're very manageable and you can go up and down the ladder with these without damaging them. Now, what many of you are asking by now and have already asked several times is, what's up with my custom Randy Macho Man Savage type roofing shirt? I'm just trying to eliminate my farmer's tan while leaving just enough shade that uh, you know I won't get all totally sunburned today. <clears throat> Final note for peaked pallets. <sighs> See here, I've knocked it off of there. Here, cameraman, come in closer. Right there. That is what remains of a hornet's nest. And there's some more. They love these things. So if you or someone on your crew is allergic to bees or wasps, always be keep it in your mind that they will build nests in these things in no time flat. Usually it's in these pockets. So if you look, Everywhere else it goes all the way through except these six contact points. They love to build nests in there because it's nice and hot. The shingles covered over so it stays dry, but it's, they can get out quickly and go get to water, which is what hornets love. They like it hot and dry and close to water. And they can go in, I'll kill a bee's nest. And the next day they'll have another one the size of a quarter built. Those little buggers, uh, they work really fast. 
But that's it, that's the pluses and negatives to these. I tell you what, especially if you use malarkey shingles, because if, if you're familiar with Lark malarkey shingles, the nail zone, and I think now Atlas Pinnacles have a larger nail zone as well. But if you'll notice when they lay in the package, the drawback to that is, is that center section is so much thicker that the bundles actually kind of taper off to the outsides. And so when they're stacked, they start to do this number, especially in colder weather. It's not so big deal in the, in the summer, but when it is colder, they it's like a Ruffles potato chip. <clears throat> or if you can use the new Vistas, or the, the next Malarkey Necks, whatever they're made out of, kind of that rubberized stuff, or, or and other class fours, but the Malarkeys seem to be really bad about it, and I'm not trying to dog on Malarkey because I love their shingles, but you notice they kind of want to ooze even in the packages and drip and, and kind of just melt. This keeps them flat, and you don't have to worry about them sliding and falling off, and it keeps your bundle smooth. If you can look up there, you'll see all those bundles are nice and smooth. I can pull shingles out of there even in the winter time and they're not puckered up and wavy. And that's a big deal when it's cold out. For me at least. Some of you guys live in places like Texas and Florida where 40 degrees is a cold day and that's a beautiful day for us. But that's it. That's the Peaks Palettes. If you have any questions I will put their website on screen and I'll put it also down in the video description. But hey, they're nice to have. They're a cool thing, but they do have a couple of drawbacks. But if you're a supplier, it could be a big win-win for you. You might want to consider them. Happy roofing!